Hey, welcome back to another episode on our new series, Pro Tips to Live a Dynamic Lifestyle. If you're new to this show, you definitely want to stay for this because we're dropping them every single day and we're giving you guys tips from literally experts and legit pro tips on how to live a dynamic lifestyle, especially in this pandemic and new circumstances and landscape that we're facing. So if you're interested, make sure to subscribe below. Other than that, get ready for this next one. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode on this pro tip series on how to live a dynamic lifestyle through this crazy pandemic. And I'm really pumped up for this one because we have the lovely, the amazing Chadi Dunmore with us. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing amazing. Thanks for asking. How about you guys? I'm doing okay. Like I told you earlier, you know, Chris and I broke up, you know, we went through a little breakup, so we're, we're in different places, but no, honestly, we're, we're, we're blessed and we're just, we're staying positive and productive doing things like this. So yeah, let's, let's get into it. So how are you doing? Yeah. Uh, like first and foremost, I know you have a family as well too. And what are some tips that you can give to the listeners that might be struggling through this situation and how can they reinvent themselves during these times? Yeah, so I'm in Sacramento. I'm doing wonderful. I have my family with me, um, my daughter, my boyfriend, my dogs, um, and it's great. <laughs> the kids, the dogs are, if anything, the dogs are having the best time in this pandemic right now. <laughs> they get to have us all the time, and we're just like spoiling them. So um, all is good. I have been definitely um, staying away from the public only because of um, my autoimmune disease, and I feel like I would be that 0.001% susceptible to getting corona. So I don't want to get sick. Um, second thing is, it's been difficult as someone who is now like a teacher, like they want parents to be teachers now. What the heck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a teenage daughter now, and you know, she's finishing middle school and she's going to be going to high school next year. And you know, I can't even imagine if it was smaller kids. I mean, it's easier, like the pot, the, the curriculum, but you know, it's still, man, I feel bad. My, my hat is tipped off for all the moms who are home or dads and now have to become teachers. I had to hire some help. It's been difficult. Um, other than that, as far as my work stuff, um, I feel like if anything, people want um, training and coaching more than anything now. Mm -hmm. So I've been um, doing a lot of Zoom calls, um, lives, um, and then um, I'm actually working on a program. It's a passion project um, that I've been wanting to just do forever. Um, I'm now a accredited um, NLP master practitioner. Nice. So basically that's a neurolinguistic um, practitioner who kind of helps people coach, um, rebuild their mindset. And I think it's a lot of it had to do with me wanting to coach myself to just stay in my zone. <laughs> and um, I get, I feel like I get a lot of people who just, and you know, it from being fitness coaches, people, it's so much bigger than just saying or saying like they, they're lazy because they're not lazy a lot of people just are not their mindset it's all like a perspective mindset where they've either suffered from trauma or they just don't feel valid enough or somewhere in their mindset they feel like they just can't pass that little puddle mm -hmm. that they can just really they don't realize that they can just hop over it and um and so i got accredited in that um months ago um, but I've been working on a curriculum that I don't know if it's something that I'm going to give out into the open as a workshop or if I'm going to make it into a book. Um, but I'm still working on it during this time. And then, um, yeah, that's it. I'm just like kind of, I'm cooking now. I'm cooking like I, I didn't <laughs> cook as much as I did now. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to stay really, I'm trying not to eat bad. I'm trying to eat really good. Um, and. And I'm just staying, staying busy. As far as like a tip for someone, this is like kind of, and I've done this many times and you guys know how transparent, transparent I am on social media. <laughs> this is like, this is like a breakup. This is like how we isolate ourselves and we don't want to go out, right? Cause we're like a hot mess. Um, and um, I feel like I've done it several times <laughs> that um, I go into automatic rebuild mode. And so the best advice that I got back in the days, my first heartbreak or first like time where I was like, I felt like I hit rock bottom 
the best advice I can give someone is to stay busy. And that literally is like a game changer for anybody. And it's, and it can go in so many ways where you literally can reorganize your closet to paint or do something in the house to um, focus on a project that you wanted to do with your kids or your significant other, reading a book to maybe writing a book. Um, gosh, I mean, just stay busy. And um, I got myself a new agenda because I left mine at home. And so where I'm at quarantine, I just noticed that I was finding myself in this Netflix hole <laughs> where I was like watching shows and staying busy, but I was not feeling fulfilled. And I felt like um, it was making me depressed. And um, the same thing with my daughter, I started noticing her missing her friends and just kind of like getting in that zone. And I noticed that if I don't create a schedule for her or myself, I'm literally just putting myself in that black hole. And so, yeah. and, and it's very easy to, to, do the, to do that. And so I always tell people to make a list, get an agenda and stay, stay super busy. Just where you're just like that way, even if it's like, you're not doing some crazy big passion project, but you're like, I, you know how you're like, you're cleaning everything from the baseboards in your house that you're like, I don't know what I did today, but I stayed busy. Um, I feel like people need to feel accomplished and make a list where they're crossing off. Like I brushed my teeth. I went for a walk. <laughs> I made breakfast, like cross those off your list because you're still accomplishing something. Yeah. And, um, if you don't do that, it's very easy to get de depressed, very easy to turn on the news and, and just see the turmoil that's going all around acro across the world. It's, it's scary. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And Good tips. Exactly why we're doing this such audience just to give people some hope yeah. and some confidence and ideas. So those are all great things. So what would you say though, like maybe six weeks into being quarantined right now, what's the biggest blessing you've had, you know, ever since being pretty much like locked down? Um, I would say the biggest blessing I've been able to know, I've gotten more confident in my cooking skills. Um, <laughs> I've been able to really focus on this project that I've been really wanting to do to help others um, more than just a fitness training program or a nutrition program that, you know, I know people love to hear like how I went from 200 pounds to, you know, a cover model, but it's so much bigger than that. Like I went through chapters in my life where it was a mindset of getting through certain obstacles. And, um, and so I've created like, you know, different chapters for people to get through. And it's something that I cannot wait to share with you guys. And before it launches, I'll make sure you guys are one of the few people who get access to it. Um, and just really like, just, it's because I feel like it's more than just women. Like there's guys who really struggle with like getting past certain things. For sure. And um, and I obviously, you know, I'm gonna incorporate fitness and nutrition into it because I feel like when you get past certain things mentally and physically, you're like, you know, you're fearless and you Absolutely. can accomplish so much. And there's so many things that people hold us back from. Like I have a friend of mine who does so well in the business world. She's a millionaire but she struggles with her weight and it's something that she really battles with. And a lot of it has to do with stuff that went through her childhood, yeah. you know, and being called certain names by family members and feeling like, you know, when you're called that you accept it, you know, and you mm -hmm. feel like that's part of your identity. And so that's something that, you know, I want to kind of just like chip away with certain people and kind of just make them say out loud themselves that that's not, you know, that doesn't identify who they are. That's not who they are. If they, you know, we, we create who we are. We decide who we want to be. And every day is a new day that we get that chance. And so I think people just become, you know, so obsessed with the notion that if they are not perfect in a workout program or a diet program, that that's the reason why they're not losing weight. Or that's the reason why they can't find the love in their life. Or that's the reason why they don't have their dream job. And so um, this is such a great project I'm working on and I cannot wait to just, you know, take it out. I mean, it could be really big. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> it's going to be really big. <laughs> yeah, you say it's going to be. <laughs> it's going to be really big, yeah. No, it is because... Um, it, you're, it's so true. Like everybody works like on the outer world, but you want to work mm -hmm. on it, right? And yeah. that, 
and just like massive like breakthroughs and shifts on like going back in the past and just like digging through and releasing the trauma, you know? So I think that's really cool that you're doing this. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd say the second best thing is like, you know, this time that we get to have with our families, I, you know, I know it sucks, you know, that we're, you know, we can't go out, but I don't know if you guys noticed that there's a lot of people like being more active, I feel, are being like, I mean, I have my hairstylist, like, who's just like, all right, I'm going to do your program now, send it to me. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, it takes people sometimes to like hit a certain point where they're like, have no choice. And they're yeah. looking in between four walls. And they're like, okay, I guess I'm, you know, might as well look at myself in this mirror and what would I want to work on? And so there's families walking outside now, riding bikes, people who are having family dinners now. Um, and again, I know there's horrible stuff going on, but I'm looking at the bright side of it. Yeah. And so, um, you know, this is going to be over in what, May 22nd, the end of the month. So we literally have three more weeks to really just like, you know, take our time and and do the things we want to do because you could do a lot in three weeks. You really can. Oh, yeah. I mean, we've oh, yeah. been and two, we've been doing this for two weeks. I'm sorry, two months, I feel. But, you know, another three weeks, like a lot can happen. And I also feel like something amazing besides my program <laughs> and your book. Somebody could have created something really amazing afterwards. Um, besides, I hope, like, you know, a uh, magic shot for this um, COVID-19. But I feel like, you know, when people are at their best is when they're like, you know, they get the time to not only like hear their own thoughts, but kind of take a dip, take a deep breath and be artistic. And, and just seeing my boyfriend, who's an artist, you know, really dig deep and, and, and stay busy during this because he's traveled so much. It's really nice to see him like be even more creative and not have that distraction of, the outside noise and performing at these NBA shows or these big audiences, like, cause he was on tour with Kiss and see him go back to his roots as far as like having intention and, in, and in his art versus mm. a habit. And so um, I think that's something that we all need to be aware of because we're all, you know, these sheep doing this day to day groundhog days. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we need to really just, you know, put intention on what our days are, what our days are going to look like. Um, the sun's out now, so I just really hope that everyone's really just, you know, putting some positive out there, positive light out there, um, helping someone, um, and helping themselves too, because I feel like there's a lot of people who are putting out this energy and saying, we need to help other people. We need to do this, donate to this, but people don't realize that. And I can only say and speak on their behalf that there's a lot of people struggling yeah. emotionally and mentally right now. And I know the suicide rates have gone up, domestic violence rates have gone up. And that's a scary time for, you know, people who have been victims or people who are stuck in situations for, so if anybody is watching this and um, is looking for a purpose, um, if you resonate with helping, you know, someone who has been in a situation with either, either if it's child abuse, domestic violence, um, homelessness to whatever in that capacity. And those are the two things that I feel strongly with or even fostering a dog, you know, like take, take that, you know, as a sign that this is, can be something that you can do. And, and sometimes helping other people helps you. It oh, yeah. fills that void. Absolutely. Are you a fitness professional looking to create more income, impact, influence, and independence? If so, we actually just dropped our new book, rise of the fit pros so you guys can be on your way to doing all those things and you can sit there and build your hyper training model so if you're interested in getting your copy make sure to click the book or the link right here and you guys can grab it other than that make sure to enjoy the rest of the show absolutely yeah, yeah so even so I, this is a question i've been asking um all the guests on here and it's just me just being curious like getting different perspectives but like what would you say the big message is like from the universe i mean for society, mm -hmm. humanity, like that, why, why did we get hit with this? And why are we going through this? I, I feel like God just put us on a timeout and he definitely yeah. said, you guys, you guys need to go to your room and that's it. And you guys are going to really, you know, really think about what you guys been doing. Um, and I think that, you know, we can either, you know, look at our demons and the skeletons in our closet, or we can look at it as an opportunity. And it's like everything in life, you know, how people complain about, you know, another set, another rep mm -hmm. uh, how long does it take till i can get like this <clears throat> or can i remove this or can i remove that it's mindset man you can't just look at this this situation as like 
okay, it's the end of the world and let's hoard a bunch of rice and bread away from the people who really need it. Or let's have like, you know what I mean? Like it, it put things into perspective. And um, I bet you there's people who are home right now who freaked out in the beginning yeah. and are now like, shit, I should probably leave some toilet paper out for the UPS guy yep. or, and make it a, a kind act. And I, and that's, that's all it takes. It takes like that call of action of just like realizing, okay, maybe I was tripping out a little bit and that's okay. Mm -hmm. Because it's okay for all of us to freak out. But I think, and I'm a believer, I feel like God definitely just put us on a timeout to really like, you know, focus on what we've always wanted to do and what he puts in our heart. Because um, I get, a, I think a lot of us don't get to really like listen or get to like, you know, um, whether it's a universe or whatever you believe in, you have to really kind of like, um, and there's a book that I highly recommend. It's called Big Magic. Okay. that you know it's based on signs and listening to whether if it's god or the universe and whether it's that perfect pro passion project that i was talking about earlier or that's this book that can help someone you know if we don't act on the things that sit deep in our soul or our heart or during this time that we've always wanted to do or leave that relationship that we know we could do better in or maybe call for some help because we're struggling with mental health whatever it may be if we don't call on to that, someone else gets that and it's taken away from us. And so this book is amazing because it really put things into perspective for me because when I started my fitness journey way back in 2009, 10 years ago, um, you know, I really remember like just feeling it inside and no one knew what the hell I was doing and that's okay. And so, um, you know, had I not done it, I would have always regretted it. Like, you know, I could have been the first bikini world, you know, first bikini champion, but I am now because I acted on and I wasn't thinking about anybody else or what they were thinking. And so, um, you know, I feel like, you know, whether if it's a pool noodle, a new invention of a pool noodle that you're just like, I know I'm in the house right now and I wish I can create this, create it. Like you have to act onto it because if you don't, someone else will. And you, you're going to like, it's going to kick you in the ass. And yeah. um, I feel like right now God is like really like, you know, besides the cool projects, it's um, about really helping other people. And this is not about us. It's so much bigger than us. Um, yeah. I just think yeah. I have, like, I feel really strongly about that. Yeah. For sure. Ooh. Chadi, you got to throw some water on that mic or I'm fire. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That was good though. Yeah, no, all, all good stuff though. Like really, really great stuff. And then, you know, is there anything that we can support you on any of the viewers or listeners and where can we connect with you? Um, I just want people to just sit back and watch like, you know, me, um, I'm continuing to grow in front of, you know, the world and that's okay. People are, um, I write a lot more on my captions and Instagram. Um, I have a right now, I think, I'm not sure if it's for a couple more weeks, but go on my Instagram page today um, on my stories. I'm going to be posting a 28 day fitness program that I c collaborated with oxygen magazine and it's free now. And um, it wasn't free before, but we made it free for everybody going through this time. Um, we have videos, we have a nutrition program. It's very minimal equipment. If you don't have equipment, that's okay. You don't, you can still do the program. You can use, use, be resourceful with something in your house. Um, and then there's a beginner, intermediate, and advanced um, levels to the program. But what's cool about it is that you can literally, even though it's 28 days, you can do the first, if you're a brand new person, the first month you could do the beginner level, the second month you could do intermediate, the third month you could do advanced. Um, I have that available. Um, it's on my link tree um, on my bio. And okay. the code is called, the code is B well b-e-w-e-l-l -L, and it's free so i I, to, I really you know recommend people to get that now it's available for free and then the second thing is just to you know stay active on my social media page and watch um until i launch this program you know i don't know when i'm going to do it i'm you know uh, i'm not pressuring myself for a time limit because i really am enjoying the time and helping my boyfriend um do what he does because he donates so much to charity um and he, I, and a couple of other people um, collaborated with a company called Restore. Um, Restore is a cryotherapy, but they also do IV drips. And so what we've done is we um, all have donated, we've all have uh, raised funds 
for these first responders to get free IV drips, which is vitamin C, glutathione, and B12. And so um, we feel like there's so many first responders who are not getting recognized for the work that they're doing, who are working around the clock. And so my boyfriend donated his studio in Sacramento, um, which was supposed to be the launch day for his studio and the launch first day that it opened, which stayed the same day. This is crazy. <laughs> and it was the same day that we started doing this charity run for first responders. And so it's been like, it's, it's crazy how God works. And, um, so we're behind that. Um, and then I think being a mom is the most important thing to me because I feel like my daughter's going to do some big things in this world. And I have to really focus on, you know, raising a good girl because it's more than what we say, it's what we do. Yeah. And, um, you know, creating these habits for her and also being, you know, um, just there for her during this time and keeping her busy. Cause man, imagine us like, well, we did some crazy stuff when we were younger. I mean, we looked at a, <laughs> we looked at it. We looked at a cereal box for entertainment <laughs> and they have iPhones now, but, um, yeah. <laughs> you know, she's 13, she's a single, she's only child. So I'm trying to keep her busy and I'm enjoying my three dogs. I really am. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's awesome. So, we'll, we'll have that. Yeah, we'll have all that linked up in the show notes, Chatty. Yeah, yeah. Everything's on my um, my bio on Instagram. I have a link tree, so I have like tons of stuff on there. Um, you know, I I also do. I work with Monet, which is a hair company, um, and I build girls on my team. So if anybody wants a side gig and make up some extra money, I do that. I also am a athlete's manager. Um, for about 80 plus girls on Till You Collapse. So it's a fitness clothing line. Um, and I'm busy, guys. It's yeah, crazy. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's endless. It's endless. Um, yeah. I stay busy. So, um, but yeah, reach out to me. Um, I would say the most active out of all social media is Instagram that I'm on. I'm, t I'm, t I'm trying to play with TikTok. It's a lot of work though. I'm, I'm so busy. I don't even know how people have time to do it. Um, but I appreciate you guys taking the time to just do this for your audience. The fact that you guys are always providing solid information and just really good, um, you know, influencers who, you know, not only just have a following, because I think it's so much bigger than that, who actually sure. have good shit to say. Yeah. And um, I think that's important for all of us. And um, I think it's awesome that you guys are doing this. I appreciate you guys. Yeah. Muchas gracias. Appreciate it. Igualmente. <laughs> <laughs> He's been working oh. on his Spanish over there. Yeah. <laughs> Holler. Seriously. I love it. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, Chadi. Well, thank you again for your time, your wisdom, everything. I'm really glad that you're doing well and kicking ass. And I mean, nothing but just like health, wealth, and love and happiness to you and your family going forward. Thank you so, so much, you guys. I you're appreciate very welcome. It. I'm All excited right, guys. to read your book, by the way, too. Yeah, I'm yeah, you got to do that. <laughs> it just came in the mail, so I'm, I'm going to awesome. be reading it and, and boasting about it. Awesome. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, until next time. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video and another episode on pro tips on living a dynamic lifestyle. We really appreciate it. Hopefully, you got a lot of value out of it. If you're interested in getting more value like this from these pro tips, make sure to subscribe above. We're going to be dropping these daily. Also, if you are a fitness professional and you're looking to create more income, impact, influence, and independence, we just dropped our new book, Rise of the Fit Pros, so you guys can do all of that. You can also start building your hyper training model in person and online training. So make sure to click the link or the book right here to grab your guys' copy and we'll send it over to you. Other than that, we're out. Talk to you soon.